Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice exponential equation e to the power x squared minus 1 is equal to x. We need to find all possible values of x. According to this property of exponents, a to the power m minus n is equal to a to the power m divided by a to the power n. We can write this e to the power x squared minus 1 as e to the power x squared divided by e to the power 1 is equal to x. Next, e to the power x squared divided by e to the power 1 is e is equal to x. Now, because here we have e to the power x squared. So, we multiply both sides of this equation by e to the power negative x squared. At left side, we multiply by e to the power negative x squared. Now, according to this property of exponents, a to the power m times a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. We can write this e to the power negative x squared times e to the power x squared as e to the power negative x squared plus x squared over this e is equal to x times e to the power negative x squared. Next, e to the power, this uh, negative x squared plus x squared is equal to 0 divided by e is equal to x times e to the power negative x squared. Next, this e to the power 0 is equal to 1 over e is equal to x times e to the power negative x x squared. Now, we write this uh, x times e to the power negative x squared at left side and this 1 over e at right side. Like this, x times e to the power negative x squared is equal to 1 over e. Now, we want to use here Lambert W function that is w function of a times e to the power a is equal to a. To use Lambert w function, we must have same expression here and same expression here. As you can see in this Lambert w function, we have same expression here a and here we have same power of e a. But for now, here we have negative x squared and here we have x. So, to make this x same as this negative x squared, we square both sides of this equation. At left side, we take square and at right side, we take square. Now, according to this property of exponents, a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n this power 2, this power 2 will be multiplied by this power negative x squared and this power 2 will be multiplied by this power of x 1. So, x to the power 1 times 2, x to the power 2 times e to the power negative x squared times 2, negative 2x squared is equal to 1 squared is 1 over e squared, e squared. Now, here we have x squared and here we have negative 2x squared. So, to make this x squared same as this negative 2x squared, we multiply both sides of this equation by negative 2. At left side, we multiply by negative 2. So, negative 2 times x squared negative 2x squared times e to the power negative 2x 
squared is equal to this negative 2 times 1 negative 2 divided by e to the power 2. Now we have same expression here negative 2x squared and here we have same power of e negative 2x squared. So we can use Lambert W function at left side. But we want to use a Lambert W function on the right side too. So first uh, let's make this right side such that uh, we can use Lambert W function at the right side too. This uh, left side remains same negative 2x squared times e to the power negative 2x squared is equal to according to this property of exponents 1 over a to the power n is equal to a to the power negative n. We can write this uh, negative 2 over e to the power 2 as negative 2 times e to the power negative 2. Now at both sides we have same expression here negative 2x squared and here we have same power of e negative 2x squared. And at right side we have same expression here negative 2 and here we have same power of e negative 2. So we apply Lambert W function on both sides of this equation. And Lambert W function of negative 2x squared times e to the power negative 2x squared is equal to this expression negative 2x squared. So at left side left negative 2x squared is equal to and Lambert W function of negative 2 times e to the power negative 2 is equal to this negative 2. So at right side left negative 2. Now from here we divide both sides of this equation by negative 2. At right side we divide by negative 2. So this negative 2 will be cancelled with this negative 2. And this negative 2 will be cancelled with this negative 2 and here left 1. So this x squared, x squared is equal to 1. And from here we take square root of both sides. So this square will be cancelled with this square root. And we get the value of x is equal to square root of 1 is plus or minus 1. So from here we get two values of x. x1 is equal to 1 and x2 is equal to negative 1. Now let's verify these values of x and see that whether they are solutions or not. To verify these values of x we put these values of x in the original equation. The original equation is e to the power x squared minus 1 is equal to x. In this equation, first we put the value of x1, 1. So e to the power value of x1 is 1 squared minus 1 is equal to value of x, 1. And e to the power 1 squared is 1 minus 1 is equal to 1 and e to the power 1 minus 1 0 is equal to 1 and e to the power 0 is equal to 1 is equal to 1. You can see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So this value of x1 1 is a valid solution. Now in this equation we put the value of x to negative 1 e to the power value of x2 is negative 1 squared minus 1 is equal to value of x2 is negative 1 and e to the power negative 1 squared is positive 1 minus this one is equal to negative 1 and e to the power 1 minus 1 0 is equal to negative 1 e to the power 0 is 1 is equal to negative 1. You can see that 1 is not equal to negative 1. 
so this value of x2 negative 1 is not a solution we reject this one so the only solution of this equation is 1